napakaraming pinaghuhugutan ng istorya ng mga nagpaparestore ng piano. Kadalasan niyan, piano nila ng bata nila. Sentimental value sa kanila, o regalo sa kanila, o pamana sa kanila. Kaya namamotivate din ako. Kung yung piano na yun eh, matagal na, tapos bibigyan ko ng buhay, bibigyan ko ng magandang restore, nakikita nila na work it talaga magpa-restore pa rin ng piano. To the average visitor, this shop is but a display of 16 aging pianos. But to Ed Tambawan Jr., each of these pianos is an ensemble of 7,000 parts, yearning to make good music again. It's how he has always thought of this fine instrument since he first laid his eyes on one. Pag nakakita ko ng piano, naiisip ko yung kung ano yung itsura niya sa loob, kung ano yung laman niya sa loob. Dahil ako'y galing sa pamilya ng gumagawa ng piano. Bata pa lang ako, namulat na ako sa pag-restore ng piano. Nakita ko sa magulang ko kung paano mag-repair ng piano at paano mag-assemble ng piano. Nagsimula akong magkahilig o magka-interest sa piano nung ako'y high school pa lang. Sinama ako ng tatay ko para mag-restore ng piano. Ang una, tigabit-bit niya ako ng mga bag, ng mga piano tools. Hanggang sa actual na yung mga pagiging ano namin, uh, tinuro niya sa akin na uh, mag-overhaul ng piano. As his father taught him then, restoration starts with the dismantling of the instrument. Itong tuning hammer na to, galing pa to sa lolo ko. Ang edad nito 1909, 1909 siya. Ang may-ari daw nito, Kastila, na nagturo sa kanila na gumawa ng piano. Pianos were brought to the Philippines during the Spanish colonization. But it was only after the Second World War that more Filipino families were able to afford such an instrument. Ito yung galing sa treble piano. Assembled in Philippines, pero ang parts po ay made in Germany at Japan. This piano that Ed is about to restore was manufactured in the 80s. It was the same time that pianos from Japan started pouring in. Many pianos sold in the country, such as this, are assembled in the Philippines from imported parts. There are some assembled piano that are used as Nara. They export it to other countries. The problem is when they come there, Pag dumating yung malamig na panahon, nagka-crack. Efforts to manufacture locally made pianos failed because of the lack of resources to rival those of imported brands. Ito is Proust, oh. It's Proust ang soundboard. The absence of a local piano industry kept prices high in the country. Nung time na yun, hindi gaano gano ka, karami ang mga piano. Dahil ang piano kasi, unang-una medyo may kamahalan. As assembling imported pianos proved to be more profitable than manufacturing local ones, Filipino craftsmen chose to specialize in the former instead. Piano repair and restoration became mainly a business among family members. Sa Pilipinas, yung gantong trabaho, napakabihira. Kung hindi ka kamag-anak o hindi ka 
hindi ka kapamilya, hindi ka matuturuan. Wala po tayong eskwelahan ng piano technician po. Wala po dito nagtuturo ng pag ng piano. Kasi para makita ko yung ano, yung hangganan ng, ng strand back niya. Ay, good job, good job. Okay. Listening to the piano wasn't exactly part of Ed's interests as a young boy. Nung bata kasi ako, bagot na bagot talaga ako sa piano. Lalo na pag narinig ko yung tunog ng piano, pabang tinotono, nakakaantok siya. But he realized how important it was in their line of work. Ed started to sing a different tune. Part po ng piano eh. Paano mo malalaman yung piano ay nakatune kung hindi ka naman marunong tumugtog ng piano? Kailangan din po yun. Gumagawa ka na ng piano, marunong ka pang mag-piano na sa School of Music ka pa. Di, ang ganda ng impact nun. Double yun. Ed decided to apply to a music school. Gusto ng college, dahil nasa pamilya kami ng business ng piano, music. Ngayon naging kuya ako. Pinunta ako dun sa UST. Yung nabasa ko yung kategory, tsaka yung mga entrance exam, naalaman ko na kailangan pa ng may audition na ganun, na kailangan ipasa mo yun. But as soon as he auditioned, it was clear to him he wasn't going to make it. Nakaka-stress. At ganun yung klasikal ang ibibigay sa'yo. Nung hindi ko naman kayang tugtugin, naramdaman ko na... Siguro nga, baka hindi ako para dito. One, two, three, nga. Lagay. Much like his client's Lagay. pianos, Lagay. a new milestone in his life made Ed realize his life needed some fine tuning. Nagkaroon ako ng pamilya. Muminto ako sa pag-aaral. Wala akong income, wala akong pambiling daya, pero wala akong pambiling gatas. Ako, total, sumasama naman ako sa parents ko noon, sa tatay ko mag-repair ng piano. Uh, yun ang sineryoso ko. Amid the noise in this busy street in Pasig City, music can be heard from the small shop of piano technician Ed Tambawan Jr. The wear and tear of the instruments may have tarnished their sound, but it also enriched the history of each antique piece. Ah, uh, itong piano na to, si Rudolf Zurich, made in Germany to. Ito yung piano na 17th century. Ito yung galing sa Bahay Tisa, sa Pasig. Ito yung isa sa pinakamatandang piano. Ed took it upon himself to make sure these instruments will sound good again. A minor adjustment and tuning na lang kailangan nito para makaplay ulit. Piano restoration is the only thing he ever focused on after failing to get into music school. Guro. Baka dito na lang ako tinawag para mag-restore ng mga piano nila, hindi sa pagtugtog talaga. One, two, three, ngat! Much like his client's pianos, a new milestone in his life made Ed realize his life needed some fine tuning. Nagkaroon ako ng pamilya, huminto ako sa pag-aaral, wala akong 
wala akong income, wala akong pambiling daya, pero wala akong pambiling gatas. Ako, uh, total, sumasama naman ako sa parents ko noon, sa tatay ko mag-repair ng piano. Ako, ako, one, two, three. Uh, Amaya na ba? Tulak. Yun ang sineryoso ko. Tinanim ko sa isip ko na wala naman eh. Wala naman akong mapupuntaan iba. Dito na lang ako siguro, baka mapabuti pa ako dito. Okay, good, good. Gulong. Tanda lang. Good. What was once a mindless task became serious business for Ed. He worked day in and day out, fixing pianos. Full-time ako eh. Uh, magsisimula ako ng 8, minsan 9 ng umaga. Matatapos ako 5 ng hapon, minsan 7 pa ng gabi. Umiikot lang yung buhay ko, yung mundo ko rito sa pagre-restore ng piano. It's already late in the afternoon, and Ed hasn't even started with the actual refurbishing. The mere disassembling of the piano takes a lot of work. Yung piano, eh, nakita nyo naman kung paano baklasin yun, paano gibain yun. Mahirap talaga, tsaka mabigat. One, two, three. He trained a small team to help him with the process. Ang unang papasok dyan, yung tinatawag na carpentry. Yung carpentero, siya muna ang magbabakas ng piano hanggang maay matanggal niya na yung mga dapat niya tanggalin. Pagtawas ng carpentry, papasok naman yung barnisador, pabarnisan niya yung piano hanggang sa pumasok yung tulad ko na piano tuner technician. Shortly, the piano becomes unrecognizable. This is day one of a project that will take months to finish. One, two, three. Fifteen years of going through the arduous process of piano restoration has trained him well. Ed is almost done dismantling the piano when a stubborn screw gets in his way. The work tests Ed's patience. Nakakalay, nakakapagod. Minsan, nakakamanid na rin ng paa. Kahit na nakatayo, nakaupo. Kasi gumagaan na nun yung isip mo, yung lakas mo. Ano po pangalan nila? But just as Ed was getting comfortable with the craft, a client's complaint unnerved him. Sumawag sa akin siya. Hello, Ed. Yes po. Good morning po. Sa Ed po ito, regarding sa piano po. Ano ba naman tong varnish nyo? Bakit ganito? Hindi dapat ganito. Huwag ganito. Pambihira naman to. Ano po ba nakita nyo? Ito ba yung power sale? Ah, yun. Oo. Ito yun, oo. Yung naka-post noong December, yung last week ng December. Ah, opo. Ito yun. Oo, ito yung pinakamurang piano namin. Ito yung... It's a promising day for Ed Tambawan Jr. with customers walking into his shop, inquiring about one of the pianos he restored. Eh, ano to eh? Japan piano. White piano. The Tambawan name has become synonymous to quality, but it wasn't always something that Ed can claim for himself. Just when Ed thought he had already learned the ropes in the business, a dismayed client calls his attention. I a piano in the port state, in Paranaque. One time, he called me. Hello, Ed. Yes, po. good morning. Po. Si Ed po ito, regarding the piano. Po. Ano ba naman tong varnish nyo? Bakit ganito? Hindi dapat ganito. Huwag ganito. Pambihira naman to. Hindi. Kailangan dito yung talagang pulido, makinis. Ay, pasensya na po kasi po, ano, ganito, ganyan. The client's negative feedback threatened to tarnish the Tambawan's trusted name. Ed didn't want to be such a letdown to his family for a second time. Ano 
Ang ending niya, sino di dito? Yung gusto ng client, sila masusunod. Ganun na nga ginawa namin. Gusto niya yung pati hindi nakikita makinis. Determined to make up for his shortcoming, Ed accommodated all of his clients' requests. Eventually, he was able to salvage what could have been a blow to their business. Approval niya, yung sabi niya, yes, okay, ayos to. Good, very good, sabi niya ganun. Masaya na ganun, na may isa na naman na satisfied na client. Hindi na putol yung, yung pinundar ng magulang ko, hindi na putol yung pangalan namin na nasira kami sa isang kliyente, sa isang tao. Recommendations by satisfied customers earn him the trust of new patrons. This afternoon, he's servicing a long-time client. His father, Eddie, joins him. Ito po, bag niya po. Ah, alis na po tayo. Ah. The piano they are about to tune was a piece restored by Eddie himself. Magkaling sa kami niyan. 20 years ko nang binenta. It is through home repair service that Ed is able to earn enough to continue the business. Ang pagkita kasi ng piano, unang-una, hindi naman siya yung yung araw-araw na binibili. Pag nag-invest ka ng piano, tulog ang pera dito. Pag na-restore mo, bukas o mamaya. Paghihintay ka talaga ng tamang panahon at oras para sa kanya. Some restored piano pieces sell cheap. And Ed keeps it that way just to get through the off-season. Marami nagpapaayos ng piano, December, January, February. Uh, uso siya sa panahon na yan. Pagdating ng summer, ng March, uso pa rin yan. Makawala lang yung ano niya sa mga bandang mga buwan ng June, July, August. Ihina ang piano business. To add a piano is more than a piano. And he will stop at nothing to make sure their family's legacy lives on. Habang buhay na to, hanggang mapamana ko na sa mga anak ko, hanggang sa mga apo ko na to. 